gentlemen and ladies, I thought I'd bring you along to show you an inspection of a heat exchanger bundle. This is a YouTube bundle. Its particular sizes are not that unique in that it's a 56 inch diameter bundle, 300 inches long. Three quarter inch tubes. And what I wanted to show you is that these tubes, like I said, they're three quarter inch tubes and they're welded in place, welded to the tube sheet, which is not unique. But what I wanted to show you is the corrosion attacking the weld metal buildup. This is a weld overlay tube sheet and welded tubes. And notice that some of the welds are completely ero uh, key ro corroded away where the preferential attacking corrosion has attacked the welds attaching the tubes to the tube sheet. Now, what's interesting about this tube sheet, let me show the edge of it. This tube sheet has got a weld metal buildup on the face. And if you see right here, I don't know if that's showing up real well, it's actually uh, corroded and separated the welded weld metal buildup from the carbon steel base metal. Um, I don't know if I'd call this normal or unique or not, but I wanted to show you some of the corrosion where it's definitely preferential and it is corroded through the tubes in multiple locations. Here's one and there's another one up here where they've just completely eroded through, corroded through. This entire bundle is a write-off. It's uh, completely failed. See, here's another one. And this is, uh, this is what happens to bundles sometimes. Notice it's got carbon steel stay rods and baffles. So they tried to build it as cheap as possible and uh, got their money's worth out of it in that it, it got a run. Well, that's obviously not worth rebuilding. You notice though that that most of the weld metal buildup base material um, doesn't show a lot of corrosion. In in some areas, it it's still showing the original machine marks uh, at that spot. And other areas, you know, where the stay rods have been welded. Um, these are repaired areas where it was repaired several times but as you see here's another neat one where they tried putting in a plug they definitely tried to extend the life of this bundle and 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 were successful it's just uh, it finally got to the point where just the tubes themselves were failing so obviously the the decision was made rather than keep plugging more tubes to go ahead and just take it out of service. Anyways, I thought you guys might be interested in seeing that. It's, it's like I say, a not real unusual bundle. But what's interesting is if you look at the the uh, tubes, the external side of the tubes, the OD of the tubes looks just fine. And this is. This was the uh, non-corrosive side of the process. So as a result, the, the external surface of the tubes looks fine. It just it failed from the inside out. Anyway, thought you guys might find that interesting. Thanks uh, for coming along. Talk to you guys later. Bye.